Hello, it's Sarah Jane from Cards and a Cuppa and I'm here today with your uh, video tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you today how to make this pine cone wreath using this uh, little branch from the Wonderland stamp set. So let's get started. Uh, what you're going to need is a piece of vanilla card that is 10 centimeters by 14.3, uh, an early espresso card blank, I've cut my A4 at 10.5 so that I can make this top folding one. I've got a small strip of Winter Wonderland uh, gold vellum here and that's 3 centimetres high by 10 centimetres wide. Um, and a little a piece of spare vanilla which is about 2 centimetres uh, wide by about 8.5 centimetres. I tend to keep my off cuts when I'm cutting down my matten layers but you can just cut a two centimeter strip from your A4 card and then I'll show you in a minute how to do that that easily so let's start with the um, with the wreath so I've got my circles framelits here um, I'm not going to use them to cut I'm just using them to draw around this one is uh, approximately seven centimeters across the center but it, if you've got the circles framelits it's one two three four one two three four five from the outside yeah and then so you just uh, hold it on the card where you want it and then really lightly with a pencil draw around the inside okay now you're going to take your Mossy Meadow and Early Espresso pens. If you um, you do need markers for this to make it uh, to look the same, but you can obviously change up the colours. So uh, Old Olive would work quite well. Chocolate Chip if you haven't got Early Espresso. Um, work with what you've got, you know. But this is what I use to do mine. So I'm going to ink up the the branch and the leaves in the green. And then I just ink the pine cone in the dark brown. Now, where this is um, the end of the branch, I've sort of it's, it is sort of in the middle of this end piece here. And then I've just assumed that this is the end on this side. So I'm going to try and line up each of them points with the circle. So just stamp it down and lift it off. And that's that. And then I'm just going to repeat this all the way around for this first first layer, trying to make the points and and the ends join roughly at the end of um, the the previous branch, so that it makes one solid circle going all the way around. I don't find it that you need to huff in between these ones simply because the pens are quite inky anyway or my pens are if your pens are a bit dry you can always huff on them but we're working quite quickly we're inking up and then moving on pretty quickly we're not we haven't got lots and lots of colors to ink on here but feel free to huff on yours if you'd like to and then one last one Okay, so now I'm going to get my stamping scrub and just wash off my um, my stamp because I don't really want any spare ink left on the bottom of this branch because for this next layer all I'm going to do is colour in the, the pine cone in the brown again and the stem in the green as before but I'm not colouring this whole end piece here because I'm going to stamp these in between each area to cover up the, the branch and then I'm going to go all the way around and do that again
okay so that's oh that's your your wreath done so let's do the sentiment next now i've got the sentiment again out of wonderland the silent night one and when i've when i've mounted my clear stamp onto the block i checked it so that if i'm looking down onto the block this block here lines up straight with one of these lines so that when i stamp the sentiment i know it's straight so if i line this block edge up over the top of my cream card i should have a straight sentiment so let's try it i'll uh, just ink up and you can use your ink pad for this if you want to but seeing as i've got the markers out i'm just going to do it in the marker and then all i'm going to do is lean over and then press down and lift and there's my sentiment more or less straight so i'm just going to trim this end off a bit and then i got to about eight and a half centimeters so that it was big enough to go on this card and um but not too big so all you're going to do is cut a banner end in each end quick way of doing that cut up the center just straighten that cut there and then go from the corner point to your center cut and again on the other side sorted so once you've done that all I did was take my scissors or a bone folder and curl the card so that it's got a bit of body and then use your marker to go around the edge of of every um, of all the sides to get your just to make it pop on the on the vellum otherwise it, it can get a bit lost because it's quite pale the vellum as long as you keep your marker pointing upwards and your um, image side pointing upwards, pointing upwards then if you slip it's going to go behind so you're not going to have an accident whereas if you turn it the way around obviously if you slip you're gonna you're gonna mark your sentiment so that's that and then we're going to take go back to the to the wreath now and then i'm just going to rub away the the pencil line now that i know for sure that the ink is dry it probably would have been before anyway but i always like to give it a moment or two just to just to be sure nothing worse than spending all that time making a card and then smudging it right at the end done that a few times so I think that's all the pencil lines erased any other little marks you've got on your card you just use your um, your eraser or your glue eraser as well that works so to attach this uh, vellum this uh, this pattern actually is a really good pattern um, because there's, they're quite solid the pine cones I'm going to use my fine tip glue and I'm just going to put a little bit behind each solid coloured area on the back if you've got a, a finer pattern which sometimes you do um, I'll just grab a piece in a second and show you how I would stick that down as we've got linen thread on this it's not quite as important to um, to glue it down really that well and um, obviously you want to stick it down but make sure that it's straight right so if you've got say this vellum which is pine cone I think um, then all I would do is just go around and just do tiny little dots barely squeezing the uh, fine tip glue pen you could also use crystal effects as well if you like and um, that would work but obviously the, this comes out in, in a much tinier amount but it is remember it's much runnier than crystal effects so um you do have to be careful not to squeeze it too fast uh, and then you can just stick that down 
and you pretty much won't see the glue under that. So I'm just going to stick my uh, lid back on this now. You do have to hold this. This pin is wobbly in the middle um, and you do have to hold that to guide it into your glue hole. It's a bit fiddly um, but you get used to it. Okay so just tie your linen thread once around this card. Don't worry too much about where your bow is when you're tying it and uh, because you can always slide it round in a minute and make sure you leave plenty of thread to work with otherwise it makes it very difficult. Normally this end would be attached to the to the card. I don't cut my thread before I tie it because that way you've only got the end piece as waste whereas if you've got to leave enough to work with both ends you have a lot of waste. So as long as you remember to keep your full roll to the right as you tie then uh, then you're going to be all right because if you don't then you can't push the thread through because it's attached. So just if you have trouble sliding bend your card in the middle and then just move it round. I should be okay on this one she says. So I need it quite far over. Right add your sentiment just with a bit of glue you know which bits to add it to because they're the bits that are furthest down your sentiment under your bow and then you're going to have to hold this or like I like to do I just like to hold it with a peg just a just an ordinary wooden clothes peg I mean obviously I've added a bit of paper to mine but it's not really necessary um, and just give that a couple of minutes to to dry. Once that's dry all you're going to do is add Tombow to the back. You don't need a lot. It does stick really well. And there you have your pine cone wreath using the Wonderland stamp set. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and for more videos and ideas please do visit my blog. Thanks for watching.